I actually think we're in a really good place. Yeah, yeah, yeah we are. Yeah. You are, Barry. Yeah. Yeah. We almost wanted people to feel like it was a fantasy, like it was another one of those daydreams, and we shot it very much like that, and the sound design is very much like the fantasies where it's just like, wait, this can't be real. And then the more it goes on, the more you're like, oh my god, I think this is real. And then I think there is a sense, because people know this is a suspenseful show, that something's gonna go wrong. <laughs> it can't end like this. Yeah, I remember being in the writer's room and us figuring out, what is it then? You do this where you write yourself into a corner, and you go, okay, there's Kusno Moss, and Sally and Barry all eating dinner together. How does he get found out? And then that thing that is so pleasing when you realize, oh, the first episode. Yeah. <laughs> the monologue from the first episode. I don't remember that. What are you talking about? It was in the parking lot. When I heard him, I said to myself, shit, this guy has got something. And that was one of those, let's all go get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was like, yes! This is how you get rid of someone in America. <laughs> Alec did an amazing job directing that scene where he gets shot. They were auditioning the head effect, and we shoot at Sony, and they were doing the blood pouring out of Glenn's head just to see what it looked like. And a tour came through with kids, and they were all taking pictures and stuff, and I just was like, everybody, no, you're not allowed to see this. <laughs> we're about to blow off a man's head. Everybody step back. Janice. Yes, hey. Hey, Barry. Paula Newsom does an amazing job. That scene on the dock with yeah, her and that, is just unreal. She that just was gives not an easy to shoot. It no. was four in the morning. It was 25 degrees out there. We're on a lake where there's wind. It oh. looks like they're right next to each other, but the way we had to shoot it, there's so much distance that they couldn't hear each other. I'm a good person. If you could just walk away. I feel like he almost has convinced her. <laughs> Again, Barry is incredibly confident that he can go out there and convince her <laughs> that they are the same person and that she doesn't need to do this. We're not the same, Barry, because I'm a cop and you're a fucking murderer. At what point does he quit trying to have happiness? Starting now. Starting now, you know, now, it'll, now I'll be happy. Now nothing will go wrong.